All right, we want to get back now to the story that we just mentioned. There is a heated debate among Native Americans over the future of mascots and their likeness. And tonight in Oxford, multiple people representing different tribes address the issue that's been raised around the tri-state. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly was there and breaks down both arguments. We learned there are multiple sides to this issue when it comes to if and how best to use Native American imagery for professional sports teams and high school teams alike. These uh, images and names are not honorific, they're harmful. It doesn't bother us. We, in fact, we were really happy that a big university would use our name. Is it a source of pain or pride? Julie Dye and Eunice Davidson are on opposite sides when it comes to this issue. You have people doing outrageous things performing our identity. To many on this panel, mascots are damaging and offensive caricatures of their culture. They're wrong and they need they should have been gone with the 1960s civil rights era. While Davidson and others in a group called the Native American Guardians Association say this is one of the best vessels for education. This panel is a part of their identity tour where they argued team names like Indians, Warriors, Braves, even Redskins keep interest in their culture alive. The persona the insignias, all the things that are being carried by different universities, different educational institutions, different high schools, they're recognizing the people that were in that area. It promotes primarily stereotypes, and these stereotypes are harmful to our society because we have to know each other as more than stereotypes. We have to know each other as more than performance. And how best to do that remains up for debate here and nationwide. Reporting in Oxford, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.